All right, guys, we're back. Um, just this morning, I came out here and uh, I did a little bit of cutting just to get started. I didn't do it on camera. Um, but basically, what I did is this cross member right here. I cut down so that it's level with the rest with the keel and the uh, stringers. I also did the same thing back here on this one. You can't really see it here, but it, it's going to be level two. That way, uh, the floor that I want to run the floor flat all the way from the back all the way up to the front um i'm not sure how far it's gonna go probably somewhere to right here maybe all the way up here actually because this is where the front and this will all be nosed in um still working on design and everything as i go along uh, I'm also thinking about possibly maybe doing some kind of compartment or hatches right here where I can put some life vests or the anchor or whatnot, or possibly right here. So I'm not sure on that right now, but this is where we're at. I think what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to drill holes um, here, probably do about three here, three on the other side. And that way we can uh, zip tie this down. And you can see I, I tore it back apart after I got done um, last night. I had to redo some things. I had to remove some zip ties out of here because the center wasn't lining up. Um, I'm also going to have to trim the keel there. It doesn't line up good. So that's kind of an issue. Um, you see here I got a little bit of a gap I think that has to do with either the wood being slightly warped or the way I cut it so we're gonna roll with it for now see how it goes see where it goes maybe I need to take a little bit off the back there actually now looking at it looks like maybe if I just took that down a little bit might come in a little bit level I'm not sure it look it looks level from the top so I really don't want to mess with it I can always fill that in that area in I'd rather have it be too high than too low because then I can always take some off so yeah I think what we're gonna do is we'll just uh, start from the front and just work our way back and see how that goes um, not gonna have any music in this video today my son told me that it's kind of annoying when you're trying to watch the video and the music's blurring in the background so I'm gonna try and I'll just listen on my earbuds and let you guys see what I'm doing um, yeah so let's get going
And I'm not sure how much you guys got to see of that. Uh, my camera fell in the middle of doing that. But got all the holes drilled. Now I'm going to just throw some zip ties in it.
Well, I ran out of zip ties, so I had to uh, make a trip over to the Home Depot and uh, get some new ones. So we're going to get back at it. We're going to try and start working on this uh, stepping support right here and see how it goes.
Well, here it is. I made a huge mistake. Uh, this is the way it was put together. As you can see, it's all taken apart again. Um, apparently, I put these on the wrong sides. So this one here needs to be on that side. That one here is going to have to be on this side. So now I get to Joy. I know you can't see that tip very well right there, but you can see the curve and then a curve there. So yeah, that's where I'm at now, unfortunately. Um, I've been trying to document this to show everybody what it's like, how hard it is, all that good stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you my mistakes too. So that's where we're at. I'm going to try and maybe flip it tonight and uh, maybe get a little bit zip tied together. But I'm probably not going to video that. You guys seen it all once. Um, we'll just roll with it and I'll see where we're at. All right, thanks. So we're back. Um, just going to give you a quick update. I went ahead and. Uh, drilled those holes I didn't put on camera because you saw all the other ones so you got the idea of it um, but it's in I was having issues up here with the keel it just wasn't lining up right and the front wasn't lining up right and what I found is somehow I don't know if I cut the keel out wrong or what I did I, I, I remember showing you in an earlier video, maybe it was the one I was working on today, but we had a gap right here. And that's what was causing everything to go a screw, a screw. So I cut a notch out of the keel. I'm just going to make a piece to go back in there and then we'll uh, epoxy it back together once it's time to go to that stage but with that being said we got all the cross members they're all in now next I'm going to work on next week we'll work on uh, putting the rest of the stringer in here I'm going to have to make a piece like I did with a keel here to go from there to the last part um, about ahead all I can do today so we'll uh, call it that quits for now and we'll get back at it next week thanks for watching like subscribe keep on watching thanks